and welcome back to the channel today is another hair tutorial another hair install this video is um well the hair is provided by yolisa here but but i did not get paid to do this video um but i still wanted to do it on youtube just because i feel like this was actually my first time getting a spiral curl wig okay i was like no i can't leave out my youtube family i have to put it on youtube as well i'm only supposed to do it on tiktok but because i love you guys that much i'm showing you guys as well so one of applause okay um but i'm gonna show you guys the wig i showed you guys what it looks i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like um when it just came out of the box um i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put the clip like somewhere either before this or here but i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like out as soon as i took it out of the box um i went ahead bleached it plucked it a little bit and i'm gonna be showing that remember i bleached it okay in order to take out the bleach i have to wash it so you're expecting the curls to go right 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 look look at this guys look at this this is the natural curl that it's in the top part kind of it kind of came out a little bit but that was just because i combed it off because you know when you pluck the hair you have to take all the parts that you plucked off that's the only reason why it's looking like this but just look on this hair i can't wait to fully comb it out at first i was going to do a uh, half up half down but i'm like no no i'm giving it a side part this wig is actually um 26 inches and it is 200 percent density transparent lace it's not a cheap transparent lace but um yeah let's just get into the install be another glue install but honestly i want to stop using so much glue um i feel like i want to start using like i i like got to be but i don't want to use got to be like i feel like it's so old um i want to try something new i'm probably gonna try either the oris fix it spray or i think um bolt hold has like almost like a like a got to be gel but it's not got to be gel um adhesive well it's not adhesive like it's almost like a gel but it has like a strong hold that you know you, you don't even need to use glue so i want to try that or if you guys have any suggestion definitely let me know down in the comment section or if you're a small business and you have something like what i'm talking about then definitely you can reach out to me and i can definitely you know do a video for you guys on it, if that's something you guys are interested in um, but yeah, I went in and I did two layers of glue. I allowed each um, layer to dry clear before adding the next, especially because this glue was on the thicker side. I didn't want to put too much and then it gets cakey. Like if you have a glue and it's thicker, then you don't want to do too much. Like you want to put as thin as possible, like glue the layers as thin as possible. Um, and yeah, also another recommendation that I um suggest especially when you're a beginner is do it in smaller sections cut those lace cut the lace in like three sections the middle and the two sides and do them in small sections that way each section they have um each section has its own time span to dry uh and yeah it's better that way so that's another tip that i would suggest but yeah i'm just 
we're gonna continue doing um this hairstyle also when i just cut off the lace like i feel like the front part of the wig was a little bit wider than normal like i don't know but it ended up fixing because of the baby hair but i just feel like the hairline was a little bit weird like the front part was kind of wide but you guys will see what i'm talking about um but yeah i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the video Okay, so uh, I went in with this mousse. It's a lace tint mousse that I got from Tammy Ball here, I think, on Instagram. But guys, to be honest, I didn't need it. I did not need it. Um, I felt like it made the lace a little bit darker than what it was. Like, I feel like the way it was before was okay. I didn't need it. And it didn't, like, it didn't spoil the install, but I felt like if I had even a little bit more, it would have been. Um, just because I feel like it was a little bit darker than my skin tone. A little bit though, and it's because the, like, the climate is now colder, I know during, like, colder season, um, your skin gets, um, lighter. So, my skin is a little bit lighter than usual right now so i feel like that lace mousse the lace tint the mousse i felt like it was a little bit darker than my skin so yeah but all in all it, the it's also came with you regardless Okay guys, so for my baby hairs, I literally took my time with these. Okay, so when I am cutting my baby hairs, I normally just use my eyebrows to measure them. And I will stop at my eyebrows. Um, I use the eyebrows just because, you know, they're supposed to be at equal length from your hairline on your face. So it's easier to measure it on both sides using your eyebrows. Um, and then I went in and I flipped the front part and um curled under the sideburns a lot of persons i've seen them doing the even the side parts like the front part right there i feel like they've curl it under as well i mean you could do 
either or I think it still work but for me I like flipping it and then doing the sideburns um under now I went in and I did curl them and you want to make sure it gives a full curl not like a half curl like a fully like when you're done it's supposed to look like almost like a O and not a C okay we need a full curl that's why sometimes you have to um make your the baby hairs a little bit longer so that way you can get the full curl unless you have like the really really skinny iron which i just bought and i'm excited to try um but yeah then it's easier to get the full like circle even when it's short okay um for my baby hairs i went in with got to be spray and i took my time even though this part is sped up if i would have if i left the entire um like the speed the normal speed on this video it would have taken up like almost an, like half an hour i took my time with these baby hairs okay i went in with my got to be spray and i sprayed like the almost like the beginning of the baby hairs to make sure that part was flat like laying flat on my head and then i went in then i went in with um, then I went in and curled under the parts that the edges or the ends. Yeah, the ends. And I used my rat tail comb to kind of help form it. Like, you just have to take your time. Just take your time. I'm going to do a next video where it's just strictly dedicated to doing these baby hairs. Um, and that way I will be, every step that I do, I'll kind of show you guys, like, this is what I'm doing then you do this and then you do I'm gonna do that okay but for now yeah I just use got to be spray for uh, my baby hairs <laughs> see my baby hairs like do y'all see this do y'all see this this was so cute i love this like yeah <laughs> just going to be um adding like just defining the front part of the hair because i feel like it was combed out a bit like the curls was um they were combed out a bit so i just went in with my spiral wand and did some spiral curls at the front made the front part a little bit shorter than um the rest of the hair so it had that layer effect and that bouncy effect and that body yaddy yaddy that's what i did just layered the front part so, yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch. <music>
this hairstyle deserve makeup cute ass outfit like it deserves something you know very much something um i was not gonna do my makeup or anything but i feel like i might like i just might have to do my makeup i don't know if i'm i'm not sure yet i'm gonna see i'm gonna, see. I'm gonna eat some food first and i'll see but we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one i definitely definitely love this hair like i knew what i was doing when i was just like yo i need to try this hair like when the company messaged me i was like mm -hmm, yup no hesitation because do y'all see this like this is the natural curl right here i just because i um had to pluck the front part and i had to comb it out and stuff um i just wanted to define the curl a little bit more so and so i went in with this um curler i think this is a spiral curler so yeah kind of went with the hair but guys we all purr okay big purr mm-hmm mm -hmm. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, I would like to thank Lo Yolisa here for sending me this wig. I love it. Like, I love it. Like, what? I love this wig. It's so me. Like, giving me Hollywood vibes. Period. <laughs>